Hello everyone, today in this video we're going to be creating curved lines. You can do that with a few different tools, but let's start out with the calligraphy tool. Now this doesn't really, I don't really use this too much, that's why I'm starting out with this one. Um, one nice trick to um, smooth up some of these lines because if you look at all these, there's tons of nodes. But you can smooth this up by selecting it as it's selected right now and then hit Control L and just do that a few times. Wherever you want to. Now if you go too far you can go also uh, just hit Control Z. Z. But what it does is it smooths up everything. And if you double click on this, you'll notice that there's a lot fewer nodes. Okay, now let's move on. Another tool you can use is the pencil tool, which is what you do is you just hold down your mouse key and you just act like you're using a pencil or and you just uh, draw whatever you want. Now if you look at this again, double click on this, it's tons of nodes. And so you can actually do like a freehand using pencil and then you go back and use your control L again and see how it, it keeps somewhat the same shape that you created but it reduces the amount of nodes so that later when you want to edit it, edit this it won't take much. Okay, now we're going to go to the Bezier tool, the pen tool, which this is what I use almost all the time. I mean, really, I'd say 99% of the time I use the Bezier tool. Because it's so much, you have much, much more control uh, where you want to put the nodes. So to start out, you just use your left button on your mouse again, and hold down as you move it. Well, the first one that you put, you can just go click, but then the second one, you want to make sure you click and hold, or click and drag, I'm sorry, and just go where you want with that. starting to see an animal here. So you can do whatever you want with this and you can close it up or you don't close it up. Um, and you can put a fill in it. Putting a fill in is as simple as clicking in one of these colors. And you can go down here and a whole range of colors that you can use like that to change the thickness or to change the color you have to hit your shift key on your keyboard and then Click one of these colors. There, you can see it better. You change the thickness by going right click on there. Like that. I think that's it. Now, in, you know, we could get in more advanced and using some of these um, right, buttons for the Bezier tool. But let's not get into that right now. Thanks for watching.